Hola, mi amigos. Hugh Chefner back with you uh, on Rock and Rope. Uh, today, um, I'm going to kind of recap what's been going on the last week. Um, been really busy, been kind of tired. Um, winter blues, I guess. Um, so, originally, I'd planned, and I actually have a video. Um, probably not going to update it or air it um, because I was actually going to talk about Kiss's first album and Jimi Hendrix, Are You Experienced? Um, I was actually really talking about two things, Peter Chris and Mitch Mitchell. Uh, I was really under the impression that Mitch Mitchell had laid down this drum track that Peter Chris had stolen. And I think it's still out there. I think it's on a different song, but I'd uh, actually looked at um, the song uh, Manic Depression thinking that was, it was in that track, and I actually think it may be a different Jimi Hendrix song uh, that one of those uh, licks are off of, because um, I'm really positive that it's on the first album that he stills, I, w I wouldn't say still, but uses one of Mitch Mitchell's track, one of Mitch Mitchell's drum tracks for um, one of the Kiss songs. However, we're gonna move on from that. Um, I'm gonna put it on there. The two little, uh, two little things uh, that I recorded, the two tracks to show the similarities in Pete's drumming and Mitch Mitchell's drumming, uh, because I do believe that Mitch Mitchell was a big, big influence on Peter Chris and his drumming and his drum style. So I'll I'll put that on there, but that's not part of the show. Um, I just wanted to get on here and say hi. I haven't been on in a while. It's been a few days. And mentioned that I got this over the weekend. Um, I got the first edition of Kissology, um, which is 74 to 77. Been watching that tonight. It's kind of cool. I've seen a lot of the stuff on it. I've seen a lot of the, uh, the concert footage and the interviews and the, like, the football game uh, where they went to the, the Michigan town and dressed up as Kiss and had the football players and the and, and you know, the school faculty and the mayor, I think, uh, did it and gave them the key to the city. And they had a kiss day there. It was really cool. Um, but yeah, Forever Kiss fan, just wanted to share that I got this. Um, also, don't have it readily available right here where I'm sitting uh, in the uh, Kiss Cave studios. Um, but I uh, finally picked up a copy of Kiss My Ass uh, that came out years and years ago with the uh, covers of KISS songs by current artists, uh, people who were major KISS fans growing up, uh, Garth Brooks, Lenny Kravitz, um, the guys from Rage Against the Machine uh, with Maynard James Keenan from Tool, in a Perfect Circle, uh, also Pussifer, uh, singing on that track, and I believe they went under the name Shandy's Addiction. Uh, pretty cool. I, I forgot all about that. I'd known that for years and then kind of forgot about it. So really anxious to listen to that. Um, also, things coming up. Um, one thing I was really excited about and I got this week is um, I bought all of the albums from The Police, all of their early 80s releases and some rare tracks um, came with that as well. So I'm going to get into that. I'm going to bring that on the show, discuss it. Um, I've been really delving deep uh, into Sir Copeland's drumming again. I've, you know, I've tried playing a few of his songs. His drumming's so different. Um, so, um, yeah, look forward to actually coming up with some decent shows uh, in the future. This one was kind of a flop. I've been really uh, stressing about it too much. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to stress over this show. I love uh, rock and roll music. I love Kiss. And uh, so anyway, what I'm gonna do is at the end of this, I'm gonna go ahead and throw these two tracks on there and I'm gonna let you listen to it, let you see how uh, unique and how cool each of these drummers are, Mitch Mitchell and Peter Chris, and uh, let you decide for yourself if you think that they kind of sound alike or not. If you think so, give me a comment. If you think not, give me a comment, I don't care. Give me a horns high, give me a thumbs up, give me a big F you, whatever. Give me some comments if you're watching this show subscribe below and anyway my name is Hugh Scheffner I'm here with Rock and Roll so I will be here again hopefully with some more beneficial reviews good night and rock on hey guys um, as I said 
I'm going to uh, post these two clips of Manic Depression. And I believe it's uh, Black Diamond or 100,000 Years. I can't remember. I listened to so much this album so many times to try to uh, get the right track. As I said, though, I'm pretty sure it's the wrong track. Maybe the wrong Jimmy track. Maybe the wrong Kiss track. I'm going to keep searching for this lick. Um, in the meantime... I just want you to note the similarities in Peter Chris and Mitch Mitchell's drumming. Or you can tell me to F off and that I'm stupid and that there is no similarity. But I will see you next time here on Rock and Roll. Okay, so this is the first track. This is the Mitch Mitchell track um, with Jimi Hendrix on um, Are You Experienced? The Jimi Hendrix Experience. Uh, this album came out in 1967, I believe. I may be wrong, but I do believe it came out in 1967. Um, but yeah, you can hear this um, uh, for yourself. This is just a very com very slim comparison. I don't think it's the right track or the right part of the track. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is the one that I'm pulling from. This is the one that I'm... Uh, thinking that Peter Chris is like really digging. So have a listen and then I'll let you listen to the other track. Okay, this is the second track. This is a Peter Chris track off of the Kiss self-titled album that came out in 1974. Um, so basically, um, a lot of busy tom work and uh you know the way peter chris tunes his drums like i said is a very is in the style of a very uh jazz drummer type drummer instead of a rock drummer um, he always said when he got into kiss and in the interviews that you hear he was more influenced by jazz drummers than that of rock and rolls rock and rollers uh so um here you go um here here it is let you listen to it and you be the judge I will see you next time here on Rock and Robe.